Welcome back guys. In the last video you saw an application of the extended Euclidean algorithm and we were using the inverses found through the extended Euclidean algorithm to solve modular congruences. So just to be sure we've really got this method down, I'm going to go through and complete the extended Euclidean algorithm with these two particular inputs. And I haven't done this before, so hopefully it goes okay. Um, so you'll you'll get to see kind of uh, in live action how this goes and how you can mess up and so yeah, hopefully it goes okay. I'm also I think in the next video going to build a spreadsheet to do this process for us. Um, but it's important that you build your own spreadsheet. I'm not going to email it to you. Um, and we'll talk about that soon. So let's get started. Let's, to do the extended Euclidean algorithm, we need to start with just the Euclidean algorithm. And the Euclidean algorithm allows us to find the greatest common divisor of two integers. So if we start by doing the Euclidean algorithm, remember a divisor becomes dividend and remainder becomes divisor. I think I still have that up. Oh, nope. So I'm going to start with my larger input, 2,347. And I'm going to divide it by 123. And I'm going to get my calculator here. And so if I take 2,347 and divide it by 123, okay, so it goes in there 19 times. 19 times, and our remainder is going to be, let's just use this, so 2,347 minus, now careful on the order of operations, right, this one's not too bad, but probably if you have a little calculator that's not very helpful in understanding what you're trying to tell it, um, it's important to put those parentheses in there, so I get a remainder of 10. All right, so divisor becomes dividend and remainder becomes divisor. So 123 is going to become our new div dividend and 10 is going to become our new divisor. This one's not so bad. 10 goes into 123 12 times with a remainder of 3. And now again, divisor becomes dividend, right? We can trace these guys, right? Make sure you're putting these in appropriate order, right? You don't want to grab 12, you want to grab that divisor of 10. And remainder becomes divisor. 3 plus 1. Oh, we hit 1. We're probably done, but just take it all the way just to make sure you've done the process correctly. Uh, divisor becomes dividend remainder becomes divisor. Zero, so we get a zero remainder. We know we can stop, okay? So this tells me that the uh, GCD of 123 and 2047 is one, okay? Now what we're looking for in the next process, in the extended Euclidean algorithm process, is we're looking for integers x and y. So x and y, we're looking for integers such that x times 123 plus y times 2347 is equal to 1. Now, on the last one with 16 and 17, and then maybe some of them, we can kind of filter through and, and maybe guess uh, what x and y might be. But these numbers are pretty big. So to be able to figure that out seems nuts, right? Um, and this process just super streamlines it, and we just get those uh, coefficients right off the bat here. And remember, those coefficients are powerful for us because they help us find multiplicative inverses in when we're solving modular congruences. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do with the extended Euclidean algorithm is I'm going to take my, my steps in the Euclidean algorithm and I'm going to solve for all of my remainders. So solve for remainders. 
and I'm actually going to start with the remainder that has my GCD because remember what we're trying to end up with. We're trying to end up with this equation here eventually. It's kind of like um, combining a system of equations, you know, like when you had x plus y is equal to 5 and um, let me give you an example here of what we're trying to do. Um, in algebra, you know, like x plus y is equal to 5 and x uh, plus 2y is equal to negative 7. I'm not sure if this has a solution, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, 5 minus y, right? And then so we solve for x and then substitute it into here, 5 minus y plus 2y is equal to negative 7. 5 plus y is equal to negative 7, so we get y is equal to negative 12. So it's, it's really similar to this, if you remember this from algebra. Don't worry um, if this seems a little bit crazy and distracting, um, but I, I want you to know that you've done a process like this before. Um, it just looks a lot funnier because when we're doing the extended Euclidean algorithm, we're not going to have x's and y's. We're going to have 123's and 2,347's. Okay, so it's going to be weird how we combine these guys. But just let the 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 next remainder uh, equation help you to figure out what those x's and y's are in the particular equation. So, so to start, I'm going to solve for all of the remainders. So if I look at my last equation, I get 1 is equal to 10. Uh, you know what, I'm going to say plus a negative 3 times 3. Okay. And then I'm going to get, so I solve for this one, I'm going to get 3 is equal to 123. Now I'm going to be interested in 10, so I'm going to write plus 12 times 10. So I'm putting that coefficient out in front of the remainder that I'm going to be interested in just to make the com combination of those easier. And you, m that probably seems weird right now, um, but just stay with me and once you work a few examples that might make more sense. But okay, now we're going to solve 10. 10 is equal to, oops, this should be negative. Shoot. Right, so if we subtract, we're going to be subtracting this from both sides. Okay, 10 is equal to 2,347 plus, okay, and I'm going to be interested in that 123. So what I'm going to do is put negative 19 out in front here. And this isn't magical, right? All I'm doing is subtracting this from both sides to solve for the remainder, right? I'm not making up these numbers, okay? If you think I'm making up these numbers, then email me right away, okay? And I'll try to explain a little bit clearer. Alrighty, so now we've got this system of three equations and basically we want to combine these three equations to figure out uh, what our coefficient of 123 and what our coefficients of 2347, what those coefficients are in our linear combination that we're looking for. So. Um, we like the one equals, okay, so you're always going to start with that GCD remainder equation. So what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to do substitution, okay. I'm going to be doing substitution and I'll be uh, working through and and eventually getting a linear combination of 123 and 2347. So I've got 1 is equal to 10 plus negative 3 times 3. So I've got this equation. I'm using it, okay? So I want to make sure that I use all these equations. So next step is to take the next remainder, right? So I'm going to replace, instead of 3 here, I'm going to replace this equation, this, well, this representation of 3, okay, and so I'm going to get 1 is equal to, so notice I'm sticking with the same equation, but I'm substituting in another one, um, another representation for 3. And let me just use a different color here so that maybe you can see, I don't know, negative 3 times um, 
123 plus negative 12 times 10. Okay. All right. Now, um, what we want to do? Notice how I've got I've got tens and I've got 123s. Eventually, I want to rewrite this equation as 1 equals some number times 10 plus some number times 123. And the reason for that is I'm looking at my next uh, equation that I'm going to use because I just substituted this one. Notice how I've got 123s and 2,347s. If I take this 10 and substitute it in here, then I'll have what I want. I'll have all 123s and all 2,347s. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So let me write out this equation in another way with a few colors so that we can better understand this combination and simplification here. Because okay. I think this, this is the algebra that gets most people. So, um, so maybe for 10 I'll use green, 10, and maybe for 123s I'll use um, blue, 123. Okay, and I'll just put everything else in black. That way I can try to kind of see what's going on. Um, one thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to distribute this negative 3, okay? Be really careful with this distribution because if you forget about it, you're going to be totally messed up and off, okay? So that negative 3 is going to apply to both of those terms. So I'll have negative 3 times 123, and then I'll have plus negative 3 times just move this guy over a little bit. Crap. Paste. There we go. Times negative 12 times 10. Okay. Remember, those blue and that green, that's what I want to leave alone. Okay. The black, I'm going to change. And again, the reason I want to leave that blue and green alone is because eventually I'm going to substitute in for 10 and I'll end up with all 2043s, 2347s, and 123s. Okay. Stay with me. This is weird. It's going to take a few times. Okay. Don't freak. Um, so let's see, so we've got 10 is equal to 10 plus negative 3 times 123. Let's just copy this here. And negative 3 times 12 is a positive 36 times 10. Oops, we'll save that for later. Okay, we're getting closer. Now I've got 1 is equal to, I've got, let's see, this is like 1, 10, right? So I've got 1 plus 36 is 37 tens. Thirty-seven tens, and I've got still just negative three one twenty-threes. Okay. All right. So now we've simplified this. Uh, we wanted tens and one twenty-threes. And notice, notice how this equation that we substituted in, right? We substituted in this three. Notice how that has one twenty-threes and tens. And that's exactly what we wanted to get. Okay, so this is there's lots of hints here for for what to use. It's those um, sort of concrete values that you don't want to manipulate. Okay. All right, so we've used these first two remainders. So we need to use our final remainder here. So what we're going to do instead of ten, we're going to write this expression. Okay. And I'll try to use that in another color so we can see what's going on. 1 is equal to 37 times 
Okay, instead of 10, I'm going to write, ooh, purple. I'm going to write 2,347 plus negative 19 times 123. Plus, there you go back to black, huh? Plus negative 3 times 123. Now we're on our final step and we like where we're going. We want to just get 123s and 2,347. What you could do, if it might make it easier, um, so on this previous example I used colors. Um, on this example I might introduce some variables to see if that helps. What I'm going to say is, okay, A is equal to 2,347, okay. If you use this, you need to be clear what you're uh, making your variables equal to, okay. You can't just put A and B in there. It'll be confusing. I won't know what you mean. So, all right, so let me rewrite that with that in mind. And that, and this is just to hopefully make that combination process a little bit easier to follow and understand, okay? Sometimes the color connects with people. Sometimes these variables connect with people. And sometimes people just kind of uh, make sense of it without it. And, and then this is more confusing than necessary. So if the variables confuse you, then do this without the variables, okay? All right, so I've got just one A there, so I've got 37 times A. Now I've got 37 times 19, negative 19, let's see, 19 is 63, 3 times 9 is 27 is 33, and 37, so we get 703, 703, oh, negative, right? Negative 703B plus negative 3B. Ooh, I hope this is good. Otherwise, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. And negative 703 plus negative 3 is negative 706. Okay. So remember, our A and B aren't really A and B. They have specific values. I'm going to put them back in there. Uh, A was 3,000, or no, 2,347, and B was 123. Okay. Let's check it with our calculator and make sure that this is correct. Otherwise, we have to try again. That's okay. You're going to mess up. So this is good. It's just arithmetic. We can check it and make sure that we're right. Minus 706 times 103. <gasps> Phew. Good. Okay. We've done it. We've written 200. We've written 1 as a linear combination of 2,347 and 123. I can get some information from this equation, okay? Uh, if I write 1 is equal to 37 times 2,347 plus negative 706 times 123. I'm going to get these two pieces of information. Well, I could really get four pieces of information, but <laughs> since we're interested in 2,000, well, I get a lot of them. 2,347 in terms of modular congruences, okay? So this tells me that the inverse of 2,347 mod 123 is 37. The inverse, the multiplicative inverse, okay guys, multiplicative inverse of 123 mod 2347 is negative 706. All right, see if you understand that. See if you can figure out why that works. Write me some equations, email me for some bonus. Write me some, you're going to write me two congruences that show me this relationship is true, okay? Five points uh, bonus, uh, the homework quiz stuff, okay? So write me two congruences that represent this relationship, okay? Alrighty, uh, next video, Excel spreadsheet. Woohoo!